hydrazine, phenyl hydrazine, and semi carboxide are some more substituted ammonia compounds which give similar condensation reactions with aldehydes and ketones. We will now study a characteristic reaction given by 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. It is used as a test for the detection of aldehydes and ketones. Add 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine to a test tube containing acetone. The reaction results in the loss of a water molecule and a compound called acetone. 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone is formed. This compound is seen as a thick orange colored precipitate and hence it is easier to identify aldehydes and ketones using this reaction. Summary We have learned that aldehydes and ketones undergo condensation reactions with substituted ammonia compounds in the presence of H plus Chlorination of Benzene Take a round bottom flask containing a solution of benzene along with solid ferric chloride which acts as a catalyst. Pass the chlorine gas through a delivery tube into it. Now start heating the flask and continue for half an hour. Initially, the chlorine molecule approaches the ferric chloride forming an intermediate complex compound. This complex being highly unstable readily loses a chlorine atom which leaves behind the shared pair of electrons with the other chlorine atom. Hence, a positive charge is developed on the released chlorine atom which is an electrophile called chloronium ion. The other chlorine atom remains attached to iron forming FeCl4-. Now the solution in the flask contains benzene, chloronium ion and FeCl4-. The Cl plus ion is highly reactive and approaches by electron cloud of benzene. This chloronium ion then substitutes one of the hydrogen atoms of the benzene ring and forms chlorobenzene. Chlorination is thus an electrophilic substitution reaction. The released hydrogen ion accepts a chlorine atom from FeCl4- forming HCl, thus regenerating FeCl3, that is ferric chloride. Similarly, benzene reacts with other halogens such as bromine, iodine, chlorine, etc. to give respective halogenated products. Summary Organic Acids Primary alcohols on oxidation give carboxylic acid. Organic acids. Primary alcohols on oxidation give carboxylic acids, commonly called as organic acids, along with water. These acids possess the functional group COOH. They are named by replacing the terminal E of the corresponding alkane by oic acid. Let us now study the structures and nomenclature of a few members of carboxylic acids. The first member of a carboxylic acid series is methanoic acid, commonly called as formic acid. It occurs naturally in the venom of bee and ant stings. The second member is ethanoic acid, commonly called as acetic acid. The name is derived from acetum, the Latin word for vinegar. The next member is propanoic acid, commonly called as propionic acid. Its name is derived from the hydrocarbon propane. Butanoic acid is the fourth member and its common name is butyric acid as it is found in butter. 
The lower members of carboxylic acid series containing up to 16 carbon atoms in their molecules are liquids, while higher members containing more than 16 carbon atoms are solids. They are commonly called fatty acids. Carboxylic acids are used to add mild acidic flavor in food and cold drinks. They also have various other applications such as in drugs, flavoring agents, Chemical properties of carboxylic acids Objectives In this topic we will study chemical with bases Carboxylic acids Take a beaker filled with carboxylic acid such as benzoic acid solution in water Here the aqueous solution of benzoic acid ionizes itself to give benzoate ion and hydronium ion. This shows the ionizing nature of a carboxylic acid. Reactions of carboxylic acids with bases. Add a little sodium hydroxide solution to a beaker filled with acetic acid solution. The addition of sodium hydroxide solution neutralizes the acetic acid solution. Yeah, acetic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to give sodium acetate along with water. Similarly, Acetic acid reacts with ammonium hydroxide to give ammonium acetate along with water. Decarboxylation reactions of carboxylic acids In this reaction, sodium salts of carboxylic acid, such as sodium acetate, are heated with soda lime, a mixture of sodium hydroxide and CaO in the ratio of 3 is to 1 to form methane, a hydrocarbon along with the release of carbon dioxide. Such a reaction is known as decarboxylation reaction. Reduction of carboxylic acids Add some acetic acid solution to a round bottom flask containing lithium aluminium hydride acting as a reducing agent. Here, acetic acid is reduced in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride to give ethyl alcohol along with water. Similarly, benzoic acid reacts with lithium aluminium hydride to give benzyl alcohol along with water. Halogenation of carboxylic acid A carboxylic acid having an alpha hydrogen atom is treated with bromine in the presence of red phosphorus to give alpha halo carboxylic acid. This reaction is also called Hell full hard cell sinky reaction. Summary Physical properties of carboxylic acids. In this topic, we will study some of the physical properties of carboxylic point and melting point. Allopathic carboxylic acids consisting of 1 to 9 carbon atoms are colorless liquids at room temperature and odorless. For example, formic acid, ethanoic acid, etc. Boiling point and melting point. Let us take an example of a carboxylic acid such as ethanoic acid. The carboxylic group is a highly polar functional group. It not only has a polar carbonyl group but also a polar hydroxyl group. Thus, the oxygen atom of carbonyl group carries a slightly negative charge and the hydrogen atom of hydroxyl group carries a slightly positive charge. These charges allow the intermolecular hydrogen bonding between the two molecules resulting in the formation of dimers in their liquid or vapor state. This is the reason why carboxylic acids have higher melting or boiling points than those of aldehydes, ketones or alcohols of comparable molecular masses. Solubility when a carboxylic acid is dissolved in water, its molecules form intermolecular hydrogen bonding with those of water. Thus, a carboxylic acid with 1 to 4 carbon atoms in it is completely soluble in water. 
but as its molecular weight increases, the solubility of a carboxylic acid in water decreases. Summary We've learnt different physical properties Electronic structure of carboxylic acids Many familiar substances around us such as vinegar, which is sour to taste, contain weak acids known as carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are characterized by the presence of one or more carboxyl groups COOH in their molecules. The general formula of carboxylic acids is therefore R C O O H where R is an alkyl group. However, when R gets replaced with a hydrogen atom, the simplest carboxylic acid, formic acid, is formed. Have a look at the carboxyl group. All bonds formed by the carboxyl carbon atom lie in one plane and are separated by an angle of about 120 degrees from each other. This implies that this carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. Can you predict the state of hybridization of this oxygen atom doubly bonded to the carbon atom? Well, a double bond suggests that this oxygen atom is also sp2 hybridized. One of the sp2 hybrid orbitals overlaps with that of the carbon atom to form a sigma bond, while the unhybridized PZ orbital overlaps laterally with that of the carbon atom to form a pi bond. Notice that the other two sp2 hybrid orbitals of this oxygen atom are both occupied by a lone pair of electrons each. Now we shall discuss the state of hybridization of the other oxygen atom. As you can see, it forms only single bonds with other atoms. Hence, one might predict a sp3 state of hybridization for this atom. Therefore, this oxygen atom has four sp3 hybrid orbitals, two of which are completely filled, then the other two are half filled. One of these half filled orbitals overlaps with an sp2 hybridized orbital of a carbon atom and the other overlaps with a 1s orbital of a hydrogen atom. In accordance with sp3 hybridization, the expected bond angle of the COH bond is 109.5 degrees. However, due to the presence of two lone pairs, this bond angle reduces slightly. Summary Carboxylic acids are are organic compounds which contain at least one carboxyl group in their molecule. Acidity of carboxylic acids Carboxylic acids occur freely in nature. For example, citrus fruits like oranges and lemons contain citric acid. Green apples contain malic acid. Carboxylic acids are also industrially manufactured for various purposes. Aspirin, the commonly used analgesic, contains a carboxylic acid known as acetyl salicylic acid. We can identify carboxylic acids by the presence of one or more carboxyl groups. COOH joined to alkyl groups represented by R. Thus, carboxylic acids can be represented by the general formula R C O O H. The carboxylic group, as you can see, consists of a carbonyl and a hydroxyl group. The hydroxyl part of the carboxyl group consists of a single bond between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. Notice that the shared electron pair of this bond lies closer to the oxygen atom, making the bond polar. Due to this polarity, this bond is weak and can be broken easily, resulting in a carboxylate ion 
and a hydrogen ion and or more precisely a proton as they are proton donors all carboxylic acids are acidic in nature now have a look at the carboxylate ion the electron pair on the oxygen atom can overlap on the adjacent carbon oxygen bond repelling the pi bonded electrons eventually the pi bond breaks and these electrons get concentrated on the oxygen atom the reverse is also true that is these electrons can overlap on the adjacent sigma bond causing the pi bonded electrons on the adjacent carbon to overlap on the other oxygen atom this phenomenon in which the positions of the atoms remain the same but electron distribution is different is called resonance and the resulting structures are called resonating structures both the resonating structures formed here are equivalent and the negative charge is concentrated on the electronegative oxygen atom this makes the carboxylate ion highly stable due to its high stability a carboxylate ion is readily formed from a carboxylic acid molecule hence favoring the release of a proton to summarize Preparation of carboxylic acids from primary alcohols and aldehydes. Various oxidizing agents such as acidified potassium dichromate, potassium permanganate in acidic, alkaline or neutral medium, and chromium trioxide in acidic medium are used to prepare carboxylic acids from primary alcohols. In this topic we will learn the preparation of carboxylic acids from primary alcohol using acidified potassium dichromate as an oxidizing agent. For this let us heat a mixture of ethanol and acidified potassium dichromate to form ethanoic acid. The reaction takes place in two steps namely oxidation of ethanol to ethanol oxidation of ethanol to ethanoic acid Let us study these steps in detail oxidation of ethanol to ethanol In solution sulfuric acid loses its proton which reacts with potassium dichromate and protonates it to form dichromic acid This dichromic acid on further hydration produces chromic acid It is this chromic acid which acts as an active reagent while oxidizing ethanol The chromic acid gets further and further protonated and as a result one of the double bonded oxygen atoms becomes positively charged the nucleophilic oxygen atom of ethanol shifts its lone pair of electrons to the electron deficient chromium of chromic acid simultaneously the shared pair of electron between chromium and positively charged oxygen atom shifts to the oxygen atom thus nullifying its positive charge As a result, a protonated ethyl chromate ester is obtained in which the proton from the positively charged oxygen shifts to the oxygen atom attached to the chromium. Now the bisulfate ions present in the medium act as a base and abstract the proton from the carbon attached to the alcohol group. Simultaneously the OCR bond breaks thus forming a new pi bond with oxygen atom This results in the formation of ethanol
The next step is oxidation of ethanol to ethanoic acid. Ethanol reacts with the water molecule to form ethanol hydrate. Ethanol hydrate is further oxidized to ethanoic acid in the presence of extra quantity of acidified potassium dichromate following the similar mechanism as explained earlier in this video. Hence, we have observed that ethanol is first oxidized to ethanol and then to ethanoic acid. Summary In this topic, we have studied that carboxylic acids can be prepared by the reaction of primary alcohols and acidified potassium dichromate. Preparation of carboxylic acids from esters Carboxylic acids are prepared from ester. In this topic, we will learn the profile ethanoate with water in the presence of acid gives ethanoic acid and ethanol. Let us understand the reaction mechanism in detail. In an aqueous solution, acid dissociates to form the respective anion and the hydronium ion, which acts as a catalyst in the reaction. In step 1, ethyl ethanoate takes a proton from this hydronium ion, releasing a water molecule. The oxygen atom attached to the proton becomes positively charged and thus carbonyl group is activated. The protonated ester forms its resonating structure. In step 2, the oxygen atom of water molecule present in the medium attacks the positively charged carbonyl carbon atom and thus the oxygen acquires a positive charge. The proton attached to this positively charged oxygen atom shifts to the one attached to ethyl group. The water molecule present in the medium abstracts a proton attached to the carbonyl oxygen and as a result, oxygen acquires a negative charge. Simultaneously, the shared pair of electrons between carbonyl atom and positively charged oxygen shifts towards oxygen and ethanol is lost. The positively charged carbon atom thus obtained and the negatively charged oxygen atom form a new pi bond. This results in the formation of ethanoic acid and the hydronium ion which acts as a catalyst in the reaction is regenerated. Summary
properties of ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is a colorless liquid. Electronic structure of carboxylic acids. Many familiar substances around us such as vinegar, which is sour to taste, contain weak acids known as carboxylic acids. Properties of ethanoic acid Ethanoic acid is a colorless liquid. Its boiling point is 391 Kelvin. It is miscible in water in all proportions. Ethanoic acid reacts with sodium. Due to this reaction, sodium ethanoate and hydrogen gas are formed. Ethanoic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide. Due to this reaction, sodium ethanoate and water are formed. Ethanoic acid reacts with sodium carbonate. Due to this reaction, sodium ethanoate, carbon dioxide and water are formed. Reaction with alcohol In the presence of a dilute acid or a base, ethanoic acid reacts with alcohols to form esters, which have a fruit. Derivatives of carboxylic acids, acid chlorides. Preparation Carboxylic acid reacts with thionyl chloride, SOCl2, to give acid chloride. CH3COOH plus SOCl2 on heating gives CH3COCl plus SO2 plus HCl. Similarly, benzoic acid also reacts with thionyl chloride SOCl2 giving benzoyl chloride SO2 and HCl. Carboxylic acid reacts with phosphorus trichloride PCl3 to give acid chloride. 3CH3COOH plus PCl3 on heating gives 3CH3COCl plus H3PO3. Carboxylic acid also reacts with phosphorus pentachloride PCl5 giving acid chloride. CH3COOH acetic acid plus PCl5 on heating gives CH3COCl acetyl chloride plus POCl3 plus HCl. Properties Acetyl chloride in moist conditions gives off acetic acid due to which the solution appears fuming. Acetyl chloride in the presence of a weak base like pyridine reacts with acetic acid to give acetic anhydride and HCl. Acetyl chloride reacts with ethanol to give ethyl acetate and HCl. Acetyl chloride reacts with ammonia to give acetamide and NH4Cl. Benzoyl chloride reacts with ammonia to give benzamide and NH4Cl. Derivatives of carboxylic acids, amides. Amides are derivatives of carboxylic acids containing CONH2 functional group. Preparation of amides. When ethanoic acid, commonly called acetic acid, reacts with ammonia, 
hydroxyl group of the carboxylic acid is displaced by the amino group. This gives ammonium acetate which on further reaction undergoes dehydration releasing a molecule of water and forms ethanamide commonly called acetamide. Acetic acid also reacts with thionyl chloride to form acetyl chloride which on further reaction with ammonia forms ethanamide. Let's study some of the important properties of amides. Hydrolysis Acetamide when hydrolyzed with hot aqueous sodium hydroxide solution gives sodium acetate and ammonia. Reduction of amides Primary amines can be obtained from amides by reduction with lithium aluminium hydride. Amides like acetamide on reduction by lithium aluminium hydride solution in ether give a primary amine ethyl amine while under similar conditions benzamide gives benzyl amine also a primary amine. On the other hand N-methyl acetamide gives ethyl methyl amine which is a secondary amine and NN dimethyl acetamide gives a tertiary amine ethyl dimethyl amine. The reduction with lithium aluminium hydride gives an amine having the same number of carbon atoms as the original amide. Hoffman's degradation method an amide such as acetamide reacts with bromine and potassium hydroxide to give a primary amine potassium bromide, potassium carbonate and water. The amine thus formed contains one carbon atom less than the parent amide. Similarly, benzamide gives aniline with one carbon atom less along with potassium bromide, potassium carbonate and water. It may be noted that this method produces only primary amines. Dehydration Ethanamide when heated with a dehydrating agent like phosphorus pentoxide Ethane nitrile or cyanomethane or methyl cyanide is formed along with the molecule of water. Similarly, benzamide gives phenyl cyanide. Methane Methane is the simplest hydrocarbon. The molecular formula of methane is CH4. The angle between any two covalent bonds is 109.5 degrees. Hence, the shape of the methane molecule is tetrahedral. 
Preparation of Methane Arrange the apparatus as shown. Heat the mixture of sodium acetate and soda lime over the flame of a burner. Yeah, the reaction between sodium acetate and sodium hydroxide gives methane along with sodium carbonate. Methane passes through the delivery tube and being insoluble in water, it is collected in the gas jar by downward displacement of water. Methane is a colorless and a non-poisonous gas. Chemical Properties of Methane Methane burns in air with Mechanism of Nucleophilic Substitution Reaction Objective we will learn about the mechanism through which a nucleophilic reagents are known as nucleophilic substitution reactions or SN reactions. Here, S stands for substitution and N stands for nucleophilic reactions. Nucleophilic substitution reactions can be classified into two SN2 and SN1. Let us consider the alkaline hydrolysis of bromoethane which follows the SN2 mechanism. In this reaction, bromoethane reacts with an alkali such as potassium hydroxide and gets converted into a primary alcohol called ethanol along with bromide ions. Here, the hydroxide ion of an alkali which acts as a nucleophile approaches the carbon atom which is attached to bromine in bromoethane. The nucleophile attacks the carbon atom from the opposite side of the bromine to minimize its repulsion with bromoethane. As the new bond between the oxygen atom and the carbon atom begins to get formed, the old carbon-bromine bond weakens and a transition stage is reached in which the carbon atom is partially bonded to both oxygen and bromine. This transition state has a momentary existence and is rapidly converted into the products ethanol and bromide ion. In this reaction, the rate of reaction or the yield of ethanol depends on the concentration of the nucleophile as well as the concentration of the halo alkane. Let's study the energy diagram for this reaction. As you can see here, it is a single step reaction. The reactants bromoethane and the nucleophile react to produce an intermediate state in which the carbon atom is partially bonded to both oxygen and bromine. This intermediate complex further breaks down to form ethanol and a bromide ion. The products formed are at a much lower energy level than the reactants and hence they are more stable. In general, the rate of reaction for SN2 type of reactions is given by K multiplied by the concentration of reactant 1 and the concentration of reactant 2. Here, the number 2 represents the fact that the rate determining step is bimolecular. This rate equation also confirms that the reaction is bimolecular. Let's study the second type of nucleophilic substitution reaction, that is, the SN1 type of reaction. To understand the mechanism of this reaction, consider the reaction between a tertiary haloalkane like 2-bromo-2-methylpropane and an alkali like sodium hydroxide. The haloalkane gets hydrolyzed to form tertiary butyl alcohol and a bromide ion. It is a two-step reaction. 
the first step involves separation of a leaving group which is bromine in this case. This results in the formation of a carbocation. This reaction is very slow as its activation energy is high and it is the rate determining step of the reaction. Please note here that the rate of overall reaction depends on the formation of carbocation which in turn depends on the concentration of haloalkane only and it does not involve the attacking nucleophile. Hence, the rate determining step is unimolecular and therefore the overall reaction is represented as SN1. The second step involves the attack of a nucleophile that is hydroxide ion which converts the carbocation into the product called tertiary butyl alcohol. Let's look at the energy diagram for this reaction. The two different peaks in the graph represent the two stages of the reaction. The activation energy for the first step of the reaction is much larger than that for the second step. Hence, as seen earlier in the mechanism, the first step is much slower and it is called the rate determining step. The first transition step is reached when the bond between bromine and carbon is partially broken. This step leads to the formation of an intermediate carbocation. This carbocation then reacts with the nucleophile, that is, the hydroxide ion, in the second step. The activation energy of the second step is lower than that of the first step. This is called the product determining step. The second transition step is reached when the bond between the hydroxide ion and carbon is partially formed. Gradually, the energy of the transition state goes on decreasing and a stable compound called a tertiary alcohol is formed. Summary We've learnt about the detailed mechanism of the SN2 type of nucleophilic substitution reaction which takes place in one step and the rate of this reaction is dependent on two reactants which makes it a bimolecular reaction. We've also seen the mechanism of the SN1 type of reaction which is a two-step reaction. The first step is slow and the rate determining step which does not depend on the concentration of the nucleophile. Therefore, it is called a unimolecular reaction.